Hello and welcome. This is the start of a series of videos when we're going to learn to control a diesel engine using LoRa protocol. So I've been given some very nice modules by Seed Studio and we're going to review them in this series of videos. These modules are based on STM32, which is very powerful if we compare it, for example, to Arduinos. WIOE5 is a perfect choice for fast testing and rapid prototyping for long-range Internet of Things project. Some of its main features are ultra-low power consumption and high performance. It seems to be pretty easy to test and to prototype with, as it has full GPIOs let out to reach interfaces and also global long-range frequency plan. This module I'm unboxing now is the Wio E5 development kit which is an easy-to-use compact development toolset for you to unlock the powerful performance of the Wio E5 STM32. It consists of a Wio E5 development board, an antenna, a USB Type-C cable and a battery holder. So in this video we're gonna see how we can control these modules through AT commands. And on subsequent videos, we're going to see how we can program these STM32 based boards with Arduino IDE. This is the Wio E5 Mini, which also has rich interfaces, including UART, ADC, SPI, etc. And it supports long range protocol and global frequency. On this series of videos we're starting today, we're going to be controlling this board with an Arduino Mega and UART protocol. Don't get upset, I'm gonna jump some jumper wires into the original connector of the Wio E5. The colors don't match, but I hope you can live with that. Sorry. These modules are very simple to wire up. You only need four jumper cables. And uh, so we're gonna start with the ground connection here in the bottom left. Next, we're going to connect the 3.3 volts supply. Next, we need the read and write cables. And in this case, for Arduino Mega, we're going to be using Serial 1, which uses pins 18 and 19. Watch out because this configuration can change between boards. The WIOE5 development board already comes with a pre flashed AT command firmware. So we're going to be using that to test this module. Uh, so we, the only thing we need to do is plug it in with uh, USB. Stupid USBs, you always get them wrong. OK, let's get to the fun part. We need to write some code in order to be able to type in AT commands and send them through the serial monitor. So here's the code, very simple and just watch out for your pin configuration. In this case, this is Arduino Mega and I'm using Serial 1. And to test the board, just type 80 and press Enter. If you see nothing, check the boat rate, check the pin configuration. I am now opening another Arduino IDE to have a look at the serial monitor of the development board. In this case, it's plugged in into COM4. I haven't uploaded any code, I'm just opening the serial monitor. OK, so now it's all nicely set up so we can start testing. I'm reading through Seed Studio documentation. There's a few examples and an, it's a good way to start. The best way to test these modules is putting them into test mode because then we don't need to use the LoRaWAN protocol. So things get much simpler. To do so, we need to upload these commands and I'm doing that to both boards, as you can see. Using this test question mark command, we're going to see all the communication parameters. There's quite a few of them you can adjust. So on the next video, we're going to see how we can tune all these different parameters and how it is affecting our range. So what I'm doing now is setting up the same communication parameters for both boards. In this case, I'm going to use the 433 MHz band. And then I'm also choosing the bandwidth. You can choose the spread factor. You can choose the power and several other things that we're going to have a deeper look in my next video. 
So now we're ready to start sending in some messages. So what we need to do is set one board as a receiver and the other board as a sender. So this is quite straightforward. You can see here the different commands that you can send to set the board as sender, as receiver. So for example, I'm setting up the development board as a receiver and now we're going to send a string uh, using Arduino Mega and the Wii e 5 Mini. So here I'm using the write command and then just typing a random message and just click enter and we'll see what happens. Boom. So here we have it. We have been able to send this package. As you can see, although we've sent a string, it's being received as hexadecimal. We've received 7-bit. So that's something to bear in mind. So that's all for this first video. So coming up, we're gonna see how we can program the development board through stm 32 cube programmer and the ST-Link. And then we're gonna try controlling a servo over LoRa and then mounting it on a diesel engine. So many thanks for watching, many thanks to Seed Studio for sending me these boards and stay tuned for the next episode. Bye bye.